Hello, this is Mike Robinson with Train by Text. Today we're doing a basic video of downloading the PicoScope software. Whether you own a PicoScope or not, you're free to use this software. Click download. It's going to bring up the most recent version, which is what we want, and it is the automotive version. Click download click run it's going to start downloading and down here if you would fill out their survey and maybe give them some suggestions how they can improve you don't have to do it at this time maybe you want to use the software a little bit first if you do give them suggestions they will donate a dollar 65 to a charity um, on their list and you get to select which one as you can see, a dialog box pops up. We're going to go ahead and select English. They do have other languages, but we are going to select English. Now you're going to have your install shield wizard pop up. It's going to start installing the software. You, you will have multiple boxes. Most of them you will just simply click next or install. It takes about 10 minutes total to install the software. This is the license agreement. I'm going to accept this. If you wish, you can go ahead and read it. And click install. This is once this software's downloaded this is going to allow you to view your friends or co-workers waveforms if they're running pico or even off of the facebook waveform exchange or ietn or any place like that diagnostic network places you can grab a pico file you will be able <clears throat> you will be able to open them with this software whether you have a scope hooked up or not. Okay, it's complete. We're going to click finish. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close this box. As you now notice, you will have two new icons, Pico Scope Diagnostics. That's your MVH, um, battery test, stuff like that in there. But today we are going to focus on the Pico Scope 6 automotive software. We're going to go ahead and double click that. Okay, now it's going to come up with no device found. And it's going to ask you, would you like to use a demo device? We're going to click yes. That's going to put the software in demo mode. Okay, as you can see, it's opened up with a demo waveform. I'm going to go ahead and pause the screen. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to open a save file. We're going to pretend um, a friend sent this to you in email, um, what have you. I'm going to go ahead and double click it. And now we have the waveform on our screen. And you are able to manipulate save captures. I'm going to unzoom it. way I can see it fully. And you cannot change is the time base and the sample rate. Once it's saved, that's how it's saved. Now, if somebody did send you this waveform, you would be able to save it by clicking save and any information that they happen to put in the bars here will be on yours you can obviously add to this if you wish so if you ended up getting the VIN later down the road you could just save that as go ahead and save And there you go. Now, 
so you get a waypoint off of Facebook we'll go ahead and show you what it will do here I will go ahead and close the software I will go on my Facebook page I'm going to go to the automotive waveform exchange and remember I do not have a scope hooked up to this I'm going to go ahead and click files and this software is completely free I'm going to go ahead and just pick one here we go we got a cam crank for Volkswagen Euro van I'm going to go ahead and double click it a box down here is going to pop up you can choose to save it or you can open we're just going to open it at this time and what this is going to do is it's going to automatically open the Pico software for you it takes a few minutes depending on your internet speed and your laptop speed and there we go now if I happen to have say a snap on scope I could still use this capture here because this allows you to zoom in if you wish and then you can kind of mark where things line up on the Pico onto your snap on you can use the cursors on this you're able to adjust the zoom you can turn off individual channels if you wish and you can also save this to your library and like I said everything he put in for this vehicle can be saved and you can have your buddy's email you picoscope files or be a messenger and open it right on your computer without even having a scope attached so I hope this video helps this allows you to play with the software before even buying a picoscope so you can kind of get used to it um, maybe even make adjustments how you wish to have it we are going to have some future videos showing more um, demonstrations of what the software can do and what you can do with it. I appreciate you watching. Thank you and have a good night.